Commitment, excellent. Full commitment, technique let you down a bit there. Understand it, try and figure out what happened. Problem solve and think of the solution, then let it go, move on to the next ball. G'day legends, welcome to this video. I've just finished a session with young Toby Marshall. How'd you hit him, Toby? Yeah, well. yeah he played really well. In this video, guys, we speak about trigger movements, um, the timings of them, and why that's really important. And I speak a lot about problem solving and trying to find a solution to the mistakes and problems um, that any player is um, experiencing. So, guys, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy this video. So, the, the challenge of the trigger is it, it means there's more moving parts which means you can often, if you get the timing wrong, you can get into a bit of trouble. Yep. So as you practice now, you're gonna be consciously focusing on your timing, which means you're not fully focused on the ball. So you're gonna make a few mistakes, which is fine. But you have gotta start, everyone will trigger differently. Some people trigger early and get set. Some people trigger a little bit later, but you don't wanna to be too early that you sort of then fall over, and you don't wanna to be too late that you rush, just keep moving. But you're wanting to do a double trigger, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So it's here, bang, bang, set, head's trying to be still. The other danger of a trigger is that your body weight keeps going. So even though your feet are going, you've got to really make sure your head stays down the wicket. I think A.B. Deville is, is one of the best to watch. He does a sort of double trigger, and then he's really still and stable and able to hit, hit anywhere. Yeah, so if you find that you're triggering and then you're falling over, it's just all about keeping that head down the wicket but you just gotta have a bit of a play with it, yeah? And some days you might find that you trigger and you're getting back well, some days you might trigger and you're getting forward well, and again, it's always about tinkering and trying new things and trying to make it work on that day. If you're sitting back and you're struggling to get forward, you might have to trigger and get your weight distributed slightly differently. You wanna be as consistent as you can, but on certain days it'll be a bit off, you gotta problem solve then. You gotta find solutions to the problem, yeah? All right, let's do it. Okay, go through the four R's. Good. Good. Good, bud. The whole goal is to get into a position that you're dynamic and you're able to go forward or back depending on the length. Okay, you're just trying to get in that still and stable position to react to the length. Oh. Take your time, reflect. Good, good. So reflect, don't rush, don't rush to get me the ball back. I want you to reflect and try and learn. Why didn't you get that one right? You got an opportunity to learn. Shot. Good, learn from the good one as well. Nice, Tobe, nice. Keep trying to understand what you're doing. The best players understand their game, understand the game. So keep trying to learn at every opportunity. Understand it, feel it, learn. Good. Shot, good footwork, good weight transfer. Happy? What'd you do well? And the great thing is, you've got to understand, is when you get set on your back foot quickly and in position, that's when you can get some power back into the ball. I see a lot of young players jump or their weight, they go back, but their weight's on their front foot and all they can do is stop the ball because power comes from the ground up. So when our feet are on the ground, we can get, we can get power back into the ball. And so what you did there is you got set and you could then hit the back into the ball. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I wasn't just like, yeah, and then you can generate power from the ground up. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Shot, Tobe. Excellent. 
That's the length you could have gone forward or back to, but you just committed. That's all that matters. Commit one way or the other. Lovely shot. Well done. What happened there? Looked to me like you're in two minds. You were unsure whether to cut or pull and you sort of got stuck in between. Is that fair? Yeah. yeah, so I think you got in an okay position. You then just didn't commit to a certain shot and when you're second guessing yourself, that's when you make mistakes. Well played, just keep learning, keep problem solving, finding solutions and learning. It's all what it's about. All good, all good. Commitment, excellent. Full commitment, technique let you down a bit there. Understand it, try and figure out what happened. Problem solve and think of the solution, then let it go, move on to the next ball. Shot. Feel it, learn, good boy. Doing a lot of good things there, mate. Shot, Tobe. Class, that boy, feel it. What did you do well? Brilliant, keep understanding it. Why, how did you do that? Keep understand it, brilliant. Okay, runs, what do you think about your position there? What did you feel? Yeah, 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 so, no, no, go back to where you were, go back to where you were. So all you have to change, you don't have to move your leg. Yeah, that, not even that much, slightly, yeah, even there. That will allow you to put more weight through your front knee. Yeah. Where you went, you were so close that all your weight wanted to come to cover. Instead of opening up to, to mid-off or down the wicket, you don't want to open up to mid-on. That's too far open. Yeah. That's too open. And you don't want to step outside leg stump. Yeah, yeah you just want to, pass me your bat for a sec. Come in, come sort of just to there. You just, on leg stump, you just want to do a slight twist that allows you to get your head and weight forward and your weight can transfer down the wicket and then you can hit with the straight bat. You were good, but your weight was wanting to go that way and you had to come around a bit. But you also don't want to go there. That opens you up and gets you in trouble. No one steps outside leg stump in world cricket. It's just a slight turn so your head and weight can get forward. Got away with it though, played it well. Shot, Tobe, great intent. That is intent plus technique. Both working together, love it, love your energy. Happy? Great shot. Not bad, not bad, a lot of good things there, just keep working out what you did. Quality, bud. Oh. 
Good timing, boy. Playing beautifully here. Eh? Stay sharp. I think you're playing really well. You've had a really good little patch. What is a danger when you're going well? Getting yeah, over, posting about it, going, I'm hitting him well. Just, just getting, taking him by it and going, there it is, bang. And just overthinking the whole thing. And yep. just going, oh, yep. there's nothing that can get me out here. And just playing shot. Sure. Yeah, going after the wrong ball. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just staying focused, staying centred and calm and in really level. If you're playing well, a lot of players talk about minimising risk and almost bringing your game in because if you're not, if you feel like they're not going to get you out, you just if you take a little bit less risk, you just can bat all day. Yeah. But a lot of people go the other way and they start taking more risk and they go after the wrong ball. Yep. Yeah. So you're playing beautifully, but you've just got to stay really level. Solid. Feel it. Hold it. Feel that position. Brilliant. Okay, swing path was okay. Think about why it went in the air. What made it go in the air? You got a problem solved, find a solution. Good type. I like how you're fully committing. Fully committing's been excellent. Technique as well, we've got to, just got to keep working on. Try and problem solve, understand why that happened. What happened there?